For this video, I want to show you how to find the five number summary using the TI-84 graphing calculator. So I have a list of values um, that are given to me, and what I want to do is find the five number summary. And the five number summary is the minimum, the first quartile, the median or second quartile, the third quartile, and the max. So those are the values that we're looking for. If you were doing this with hand calculations, you would first have to order the data set, but since we are using technology, that is not important. So what you're going to do is you're going to enter all of these values right here into a list or L1 in your graphing calculator. So to do that, you're gonna grab your calculator, you're gonna hit the stat button and option one, edit. I happen to have some information in my L1 and I like to use L1 so what I want to do is I want to arrow up and hit the clear button and that will clear out all of the data. If you accidentally hit the delete button it will actually delete the list. So to get that back is really easy so in case you happen to do this you're going to hit the stat button and option 5 setup editor. Setup editor will restore all of the lists in the way that they should be. So when I hit enter, it will tell me that it's done. So the next time that I go back in here, all of my lists will be restored. So if you get rid of your L1 on accident by deleting instead of clearing, then you're gonna hit stat and option five. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I have all the numbers on my paper. So if you need to pause the video and go back to the other screen, so if you wanna pause the video and write down the numbers so that you can enter along with me. That works. I will just go ahead and plug them in. Like I said, I have them on paper. So I'm gonna enter the values. Just start with the first one, which is five, and then hit enter afterwards. Seven, enter, and then you continue doing the same thing until you get to the bottom of the list. It is very important that you type your values in correctly because if you don't, you will get the wrong answer. So always, always, always go back and check to make sure you did not make any mistakes as you were plugging the values in because if you do, then it will the calculator will give you the wrong five number summary. So I've checked through all of my data and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to hit the stat button and arrow over to where it says calculate. So I'm going to hit the right arrow button and I'm going to choose option one, the one var stat. So you can either hit the number one or enter on the number one. Either one will give you the same thing. If this does not come up for you, I will show you in just one second what you can do. So if this menu does not come up for you because you have an older TI-84 or you have a TI-83, just hit enter as long as you put the information in L1. Otherwise, you're going to hit calculate. Okay, for those of you that have an older calculator, this is what it would appear. So one bar stats would show up on your screen, so you can then hit second and L1, or it automatically defaults to L1, so as long as you used L1, you're fine. Okay, so now on my screen, there's a lot of information that came up. I don't need all of it, but just to recap in case you're confused on what all of this is, remember that X bar represents the mean. The sum of X, so sigma X is the sum of all the values. This is all the sum of the values squared. The sample standard deviation is the S sub X. The sigma is the population standard deviation in is your sample size and then if you notice we can arrow down and it will give us the minimum q1 the median q3 and the maximum so this would be our five number summary that we would write down so we would write down our minimum is five q1 is seven the median is 13 q3 is this is 16 and the maximum is 27. So in your calculator, this is a very simple process because you do not have to worry about ordering it. So again, it was stat, option one, edit, enter all of your data in, 
After you've entered your data, you're going to hit stat, arrow over to calculate, and hit the one bar stats. I did not mention before about the frequency list. Make sure that you don't have anything in here since the only list we were dealing with is L1. So if you happen to have something in your frequency list, um, like say L2, if you don't have anything in L2, you'll get an error. And if you don't need it, just delete it. And that way it's blank. And again, the five number summary is at the bottom, so you have to down arrow. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics, please let me know that as well.